The Ticonderoga-class guided missile cruisers are a class of warships in the United States Navy, first commanded and authorized in fiscal 1978. This class uses a passive phased array radar and was originally planned as a destroyer class. However, increased combat capabilities are offered by the Aegis Combat System and the N-SPY-1 radar system, together with the ability to operate as a carrier, are used to justify the change in classification from DDG, Missile Destroyer, to CG. Guided Missile Cruiser, shortly before keel was laid for Ticonderoga and Yorktown. The length of the ship is 173 meters. The Ticonderoga-class missile cruisers are multi-role warships. Their VLS MK-41 can launch Tomahawk cruise missiles to attack strategic targets or tactical, or firing standard long-range anti-aircraft missiles for defense against aircraft or anti-ship missiles. Ticonderoga-class ships are designed for be an element of a carrier battle group or amphibious readiness group, as well as perform missions such as interdiction or escort. With a gradual upgrade of the radar system and SPY-1 and related missile payloads as part of the Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense System, members of this class, in successive tests, repeatedly demonstrated their capabilities as mobile anti-ballistic missiles and anti-satellite weaponry platforms. Of the 27 ships that have been completed, 19 were built by Ingalls Shipbuilding and 8 by Bath Ironworks, BIW. All but one, Thomas S. Gates, of ships in the class are named for important events in U.S. military history, and at least 12 share their names with World War II-era aircraft carriers. Until 2020, 22 vessels are still active and are expected to serve for 35 years since commissioning. Not many countries have cruisers, and America is one of them. The United States Navy has large combatant ships known as the class Ticonderoga. The Ticonderoga class has evolved over the years to become the most advanced warships ever. The design is based on the cruiser hull spray class. USS Ticonderoga was originally designated as a destroyer, but was redesignated as a cruiser in 1980. The initial plan was for 28 ships to be built. This number increased to 30 during the Ronald Reagan administration but was later trimmed back to 27. The first ship USS Ticonderoga, CG-47, was commissioned in 1983 and the last was USS Port Royal, which entered service in 1994. Ticonderoga is the first surface combat ship equipped with the Aegis weapon system which is the most respected air defense system in the world. The heart of Aegis is the SPY-1A radar, Two paired phased array radars automatically detect and track air contact up to 322 kilometers, 200 miles. Aegis is designed to intercept adversary missiles by providing a weapon that reacts quickly and is resistant to jamming expected to be encountered by Combat Group's American aircraft carrier. The Aegis system can control friendly aircraft and provide simultaneous surveillance, target detection and target tracking. 
This system also provides a platform unified command and control for all ships in the battle group. The first five ships have two twin MK-26 missile launchers that fire standard SM-2MR missiles. This missile is designed to deal with massive attacks air or ship-launched missiles. From USS Bunker Hill, CG-52, onwards, the MK-26 was replaced with two MK-41 vertical launchers. The Shell 127 VLS can fire standard, Harpoon, Azrock and Tomahawk thus giving the ship then the ability to engage air, land, surface and underwater targets. Since 2006, the 22 surviving Ticonderoga-class ships have been repaired and will receive the new standard SM-2 Mod 4 surface-to-air missile, two missile launchers RAM and also a new radar. The Ticonderoga-class cruisers are built to support and protect carrier battle groups, amphibious groups and to carry out attack missions. Ships of this class have been involved in the majority of United States Navy operations in the last two decades. Now the ships will soon enter retirement. Gradually starting in 2020, the ship will be decommissioned in stages. But they will remain become the best ship and difficult to fight until his death. 